All right, so let's see how strong this magnet really is. Now, if you're like me, you're wondering, how strong is this magnet actually? Well, each pole can hold about 90 pound force or four kilonewtons worth of holding force. And if you consider that we have 84 poles on this table, that gives us almost 74,000 pound force or 329 kilonewtons. That means once something's clamped on here, you're not moving it. <laughs> Now, if you've worked around surface grinders and things like that, you may be familiar with magnetic chucks, but in a CNC mill, this is gonna make your table a lot more versatile and a lot easier to clamp ferrous pieces of material. Now, if you take a look at the table, you'll see that I have all these threaded holes and I can use things like pole extensions and things that'll lift my part off the table and enable me to cut all the way around the part. And it'll also enable me to use different types of clamping devices and different types of soft jaws to be able to hold my workpiece. Now, the part that we're gonna be working on today, we're gonna do in three operations, a stock prep operation, then a first operation, operation and then a second operation and I'm going to show you guys how to use this magnetic chuck to streamline your processes. All right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop three bolts into our table and we're going to use these as a stop for our first operation raw material. Now this magnet is super strong and this material probably wouldn't move, but just to be sure, we're gonna have these bolts here to keep our material from moving. Now something cool about this magnet is we actually have this little indicator light here that tells us whether the magnet's on or off. Now if we take a look using some ferro fluid, we can see our magnetic lines of flux and you can see that they're sticking up out of the plate about three quarters of an inch. Yes, magnetism. So for our first tool, we're gonna to be using our two and a half inch Dodeca shell mill. We're gonna be running at 850 surface feet and 150 inches a minute. All right, now that we have our first operation cleaned up, our stock is prepped, I'm gonna show you guys a really cool feature and that is machinable pole extensions. So these are gonna work just like soft jaws. So I've cut pockets into all four of these and our next operation, we're just gonna flip this over into those machinable pole extensions. All right, so then we can slide our first stop part over, drop it right into that pocket. All right, so we're roughing the outside profile of our part using the core six end mill. We're running it at 1250 SFM and 200 inches per minute. So that's five thou per tooth with a 6% step over. Now, because the chips are kind of piling up on our part, I included a M0 program stop that tells the operator to turn the magnet off. And then once they start the program again, the chip fan comes in, blows all the chips off. And then there's another program stop to turn the magnet back on. Next, we come in with our Dodeca shell mill again. We're taking 100 thou depth of cut with a 66% step over at 850 surface feet and 150 inches a minute or 14 thou per two. For all of our pockets on this part, we're using the Harvey 1TE at 650 surface feet and 40 inches per minute with a 66% step over. All right, for our final operation, we did the same thing and we machined the set of pole extensions that have the profile of our part cut into them. For our final op, we're doing everything the same except to remove the hat on the piece of material. We're gonna be using a core six end mill at 1100 surface feet and 500 inches a minute, which is 10 thou per tooth at 6% step over and a half inch deep. Now, 
Now this part isn't that bad of a part to have to clamp using things like soft jaws, but you can imagine that if you had a part that was really difficult to fixture, this magnet table would be a lifesaver. It really is an incredible piece of technology and it's super strong and super versatile. Now this is one of the parts that we ran in Boombastic 2024 and Titan's already promised that Boombastic 2025 is going to be even sicker. So don't miss out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys again next time.